Hello there. Welcome back. Now when we talk about respiration, well we know that it's not just taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide, but we also saw that how this oxygen when it enters inside the body, it moves inside the cell. It is going to perform a series of steps. That is three steps. What is it? Glycolysis, Krebs cycle and the electron transfer chain in order to produce ATP. But one thing we were very sure of and what is that? We were very sure that this entire process is going to give us maximum amounts of energy in the form of ATP. Do you remember 38 ATP is from one glucose molecule? Well, this 38 ATP is quite enough and it's only from one glucose molecule. So do you think that this can be a process which can be changed a little bit in the presence and absence of something? Well, yes, because this 38 ATP was produced only when we had enough amounts of oxygen. Now, sometimes what happens is there is not enough oxygen and that is why this kind of a respiration is changed into another form and that is why we have respirations of two types. We have the aerobic respiration and we have the anaerobic respiration. Now, when you talk about aerobic respiration, well, the aero itself means presence of oxygen. That is a respiration which has great amounts of oxygen present. And when great amounts of oxygen is present, then the glucose molecule will be completely broken down and it is going to produce maximum amounts of energy. So what is it? It is maximum oxygen, more of glucose broken down into more of energy. Well, that is what aerobic respiration is. But at the same time, when you talk about anaerobic respiration, well, this has absence of oxygen. So it means that there is no oxygen. So if there is no oxygen, what is not there? There is no enough oxidation, which means breakdown of glucose is not going to be completely possible. So that means something else is going to be produced. And what about the energy? Well, of course, it is going to break down because not everything is being broken down. Energy is also going to reduce. So the amount of energy that we are getting will also be reduced. Let's see what aerobic respiration is. So we saw inside the cell, we have six carbon glucose molecule breaking down in three carbon pyruvic acid, also called as pyruvate in the cytoplasm and in the presence of oxygen. And therefore the process becomes aerobic. And this aerobic process, which is in the presence of oxygen is called as glycolysis. This process is going to fetch us a lot of energy. Of course, when it is going to further go into electron transfer chain, into the Krebs cycle, oops, first Krebs cycle and then electron transfer chain, and then it is going to give us high amounts of energy. Now, when you talk about other cells, let's take organism like yeast. Now, this yeast is a bacteria like microorganism. It's not completely bacteria, it's not a completely fungi, but rather it is something in between. So this yeast molecule, of course, this is going to respire. Again, it is going to perform respiration, but in the complete absence of oxygen, this molecule, this molecule of glucose will be partially broken down by yeast. And this organism that is yeast will not require oxygen for its growth and energy production. Rather, it becomes an anaerobic microorganism. So the pyruvate which is being produced by the process of glycolysis in the cell will now be broken down into alcohol in the absence of oxygen. So the pyruvate which is produced as a result of the normal process of glycolysis, well that is now going to be broken down in the absence of oxygen into alcohol that means the pyruvate is not going to completely break down into acetyl coenzyme A. So the normal protocol of aerobic respiration was acetyl coenzyme A. But now the problem is that 
in this there is no presence of oxygen the absence of oxygen prevails as a result of which what is going to happen as a result of which the pyruvate is going to break down into alcohol and not an acetyl coenzyme a so this alcohol when it is being produced it is also going to release carbon dioxide along and less amounts of atp will be released well this process is called as fermentation in which your glucose is being broken down in the absence of oxygen into alcohol and carbon dioxide and less amounts of energy is produced well this anaerobic respiration is going to be utilized in order to make alcohol to make wines to make breads well all of these kind of procedures are utilized because of the technique or rather because of the process which the yeast molecule performs and that is fermentation this molecule of pyruvate which is being utilized by the microorganism yeast is now going to undergo the process of fermentation to produce alcohol and carbon dioxide with less amount of energy well thinking okay microorganisms they perform anaerobic respiration well and good but the question is do higher animals like us do we perform anaerobic respiration no because we take in proper oxygen but sometimes what happens is when we are vigorously working now let's look at this boy so this boy over here is continuously utilizing this dumbbells and doing his weight training but the problem is when he is doing this he is not breathing properly and because he is not breathing properly at the end his muscles will undergo lack of oxygen now when the muscles will undergo lack of oxygen well initially they had oxygen so they performed a glycolysis they broke down glucose to pyruvate so this pyruvate will now be broken down into lactic acid and this lactic acid is another product which is formed due to this lack of oxygen and when many molecules of lactic acid they accumulate inside the muscle well then the muscle will feel like cramped we will not be able to sit we will not be able to get up we will not be able to use our arms why because when we were training because when we were doing vigorous exercise we were not utilizing the breathing patterns we were not breathing properly as a result of which our body now underwent another environment where in oxygen was not present in enough amounts that is where in all the pyruvate got converted into lactic acid and in humans except for yeast now yeast produced alcohols humans will produce lactic acid and this lactic acid with minimum amounts of energy because the cell still needs energy so they will produce lactic acid instead of acetyl coenzyme a and when this lactic acid gets accumulated in the muscles the muscles feel fatigued during the exercise we get cramps in the body that is why it's very essential to have great patterns of breathing now we spoke about higher animals now let's move into higher plants so we know that the plants will also perform the seeds of the plants will also perform anaerobic respiration when they are put into the soil which is completely submerged in water during germination so they have no other process they don't have enough amounts of oxygen so they will perform anaerobic respiration and then they will germinate we have proteins and these proteins are huge macromolecules well they are formed when many amino acids together come and form a protein chain so the basic unit of protein is an amino acid and this amino acid is highly utilized 1 g of protein is going to fetch us 4 kilo calories of energy and that is why it is utilized for building our body now we have two major protein sources we have the plant source of proteins which is usually the pulses and then we have animals which is usually the meat well when you talk about animal proteins that is these they are also called as the first class proteins and yes please do not forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon